Welcome to Mitten Kitchen. I'm Amy, and today we are canning homemade pasta sauce, roasted garlic pasta sauce. I'm excited to have you in the kitchen with me today. So we buy our tomatoes during peak season and maybe we don't have enough to can right away and so we add them to the freezer. I had purchased some of these tomatoes and froze them but these little baby ones are from my garden. So we add these into our Nesco. These are going to start warming up. So we have 30 pounds of tomatoes. There's probably about 20 in here. And we're also getting some juice that we're gonna can up as just tomato juice. Okay, so we're about to merge and blender this. And we have the skins and seeds on. Now that's not technically ball approved, but we feel comfortable with this. And we're just gonna blend this up and it's gonna start cooking again, really down slow. Right now it's just the tomato. They've been cooking for maybe two hours, four hours, five hours. Remember we're making pasta sauce here, so we really want it to nicely get cooked down there's the other container of about 10 pounds of tomatoes. Making some bread too. <laughs> Here's the tomato juice that we'll be canning up. This will be good for like rice or soups. Coming together really nice over here. We're just blending it all up. We haven't added anything else in at this point. It's just tomatoes. We had some tomatoes from my garden. We had some tomatoes from one farmer's market, um, San Marzano tomatoes, then we got Roma's from another, and some heirloom tomatoes. So it's a big variety of tomatoes here. And that is going to be delicious with all the different flavors, and the sweetness of the tomatoes. This is going to cook overnight with all the flavors, and then we'll can it tomorrow. So since this is roasted garlic pasta sauce, let's go ahead and get some garlic roasting. I got this garlic at a farmer's market, I cut off the tops, and I'm putting olive oil on top of them. And I'm going to go ahead and add some foil to just create some moisture in there. I don't want them to get too caramelized, which normally happens. And so you can see here, I want them to get really nice and soft, and that will happen with that aluminum foil. I have some onions that we're gonna go ahead and chop up. These will be essentially pureed into the sauce, have a really nice flavor boost right there versus having a lot of, you know, finely chopped. I really wanted it pureed for the pasta sauce. Perfect, that's perfect. So here we're adding in the pureed onions. You can see how luscious they look, right? Versus like a finely chopped onion. It really gives it just, a, I don't know, really nice texture and also all the flavors that come from the onion juice will be really nice in this tomato sauce. So a big difference between just like a chopped onion, which maybe would go more in like a salsa I wanted this to be more of a velvety flavor. Also had some carrots. Now, my favorite is Rayo's, and they use carrots in their sauce, and so we figured let's go ahead and add in some rainbow carrots here from a farmer's market that we got as well. And for this one, we didn't want it to be too pureed, right? We wanted there to be a little bit of a chopping method here, and so that's why we're kind of just pulsing it. So just gonna go ahead and add in those carrots to the cooked down tomatoes, the pureed onions, and I really like how finely chopped the carrots came out, almost like a slaw mixture, and also they're rainbow, and so they're just so pretty, adding it to the pasta sauce. So 
So I added in the salt here, and then this is the oregano. And we'll have fresh basil. We didn't have fresh oregano, we couldn't find any. Smells so good. So we're adding in some fresh basil in here. And then really the last thing that we'll add in a couple minutes is the roasted garlic and we'll let this cook overnight. Wow. Okay, we're adding in the garlic. We need six heads of garlic in this batch. Roasted garlic. I'm going in. Look at that. Yum. Looks so good. So this will be six heads of garlic in this batch over here. This is what six heads of garlic look like in our pasta sauce. We're having fun. The dog got one. <laughs> Looking good. So this is the one that's been going in the oven. Let's take a look. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Have you seen anything more glorious? It smells so heavenly. Wow. I'm so proud. So next up we have is canning. So here I am getting out our clean jars from the dishwasher. I'm gonna go ahead and put the funnel on. I'm adding in lemon juice, two tablespoons for each jar. This will allow for the acidity of the tomatoes to be water bath canned. You can see here, I'm gonna go ahead and start pouring in the pasta sauce and I'm looking for a certain head space. So each sort of canning product does require you to have a head space at the top. I just thought it was so pretty watching me fill this jar up from nothing to now obviously at the top. You can see here I'm shaking it, trying to get all any air bubbles out with this method. And I pull off the funnel and I'm like, oh, I still have lots more to go. So let's go ahead and add a bit more in before I know I'm at the right head space. Here I am measuring the headspace, checking for all the jars, making sure that they're at the right headspace. Can we just take a moment and look? Look at those beautiful pasta sauces. There's the onion, the carrots, and the garlic. You can really see it right there in that viewpoint. So here I am in debubbling any of the bubbles that potentially got into there. So you don't want any like bubble space. And I'm wiping the rims off, which with white vinegar. This will just make sure that I have a clean seal. So I'm adding on our lids here. These are nice new clean lids. I'm adding in the ring, which will be fingertip tight right before the canning process. And it's canning time. So you can see here, I'm able to get seven jars in. I'm ready. Had to get the two out. So we have seven in there and seven in there for a total of 14. Come over and look at the project. This is set up for the next one. Our sauce. We are making progress up in here. This is like the best kitchen for canning, I swear. It's like so perfect. There's the water. Beautiful view. So we had these go overnight and they're already sealed. This is the tomato juice. Look at that color. We got four jars of this beauty. So normally, you know, people would just let these, you know, be. And we were able to bring a second purpose to them. So I always love to do that. So those we did have to pressure can because this does not hold quartz in the water bath method, which is totally fine. So 15 minutes pressure can, and they are already sealed, which is awesome. And they just went overnight. That's the nice thing about this is it just goes. So I got 
so many jars. Look, at it. I got tomato juice and I got a ton of the pasta sauce, roasted garlic pasta sauce. So what did I do to make it? I made it with pizza. I turned it into pizza sauce. It was so good. You can look at that beautiful piece of garlic even right there. I put the dough in my cast iron with some olive oil. So that's why it's so that beautiful color. This is the einkorn flour too. So it's a little bit more yellow to start with. Add on that pizza cheese and that is how I used the first batch of our roasted garlic pasta sauce. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for joining me in the big kitchen today and I will catch you next time in the kitchen. Bye everyone.